Final race of the night then at Happy Valley, race number nine, class three contest. So more DBS Manulife Million Challenge points on offer. They're headed by the field. Special stars Joe Moreira from Barrier 7, three-time winner over the 1,000 metres. So you're dropping the weights then to Aurora Pegasus 124. It's won his last three starts. Bodding paper gets the blinkers and a hood on for the first time. Beauty Sparkle roll forward from Barrier 3, as will Very Rich Man from 6. Mr Picasso, two-time course and distance winner, but in a lower class. Victory Power comes up in class for his last start course and distance. Uh, win. Happy Warrior recent winner and Fairy Twins eligible for a lower grade but goes around here with the lightweight. Special stars Aurora Pegasus Baby and Happy Warrior and Fairy Twins are the horses that have been up at uh, Chung Fire within the last 30 days. All right, made our way across to the touch screen to have a look at the, uh, the speed map, some key races as well. And as far as the speed's concerned, um, Tom, we've got uh, Beauty Spark and Very Rich Man dueling it early. Beauty Spark given the lead and the rail due to the uh, the lower draw, but very quick, rich man's pretty quick. Yeah, he is, and uh, they've uh, got uh, young riders on them, so we've got Alfred Chan here on Beauty Spark uh, with the £10 claim, and we've got Dylan Moe uh, here on Very Rich Man, so we know they'll be up on the speed, and they could go fairly quick. That means a horse like Shanghai Master, if uh, the Mr Picasso can get somewhere there, Shanghai Master uh, might be able to but get down here. The interesting horse is this horse, uh, flying bonus at the, the back of the field here, uh, horse number seven, uh, uh, he led and won a barrier trial e recently, so where does he end up flying bonus? All right, we'll find out uh, in due course. But as far as the track work's concerned, uh, Paul, what have you been looking at? Yeah, well, I thought we'd have a look at Aurora Pegasus because he's obviously uh, going to start favourite, I think, in this race. It was only slow work, gets him in the front, but he's doing everything right, and his last uh, three runs have been pretty good. He's won all three of them, so... You can see he does it nicely there. Uh, Baby, he's, this horse is going well. Uh, Sylvester de Souza did win really nicely and uh, backed it up with a couple of fourths and his work's been pretty good leading into this as well. So uh, he goes well, does a Baby. A Justin Bieber song there for you guys who don't know. And Victory Power, the next one, he goes nicely enough here as well. Now he finally knows what the winning post looks like after winning last start, after going pretty close in uh, previous starts. So he's come on from that one. Big yeah. fanboy over here. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty strong win um, as well. Right, who are we going to look at? Uh, well, Aurora Pegasus is probably a pretty good place um, to start. He's won his last three. One of them was a dead heat, but a win um, all the same. That's him right there as they swing into the uh, the straight. And um, no reason to suggest that the, the winning run's just over yet. No, he's looking to make it uh, four in a row. Of course, on this occasion, he uh, dead heated with uh, Shining Ace uh, when he went off at 4.3. He's currently 2.5 in the market. He's got gate number one. He's had a quiet trial up at uh, Chung Far. He's been slightly fresh and... Uh, coming into this, so uh, he looks at another genuine winning chance here. Yeah, and I'll tell you one thing, is, is with the way this race is set up with special stars, and he comes in nice at the weights, and he has to carry 124. Yeah, I should have pointed out that Baby was in that race as well, yeah. in the white cap, if you're watching it again. But here's Baby one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unplanned that, but there we go. There we go, we'll take it. Um, down on the inside, the other horse is uh, Mr Picasso. Where is he? There he is on the outside. The music aficionado there, Andrew. <laughs> but look, it was um, good uh, runs. Well, again, as I said, this horse baby's going well at the moment. His last two runs have been pretty good here in Class 3. No reason why he can't win again. He has won in Class 3 before. And uh, from his barrier of 11, uh, he will get back. He'll be the one running on late. So of the two, I'd prefer him. He had a nice run throughout. You could see him boxing away there uh, fairly well behind winning method on that occasion. So he's another chance in the race, uh, De Souza and Jimmy T. All right, victory power uh, we move on to. Now, this is last time out for him in a lower class, but a strong win all the same. He finally broke through at uh, start number 22 to uh, break that maiden status, uh, did victory power, and he did it pretty much wide, no cover throughout. We've seen Alexi do that with a couple of Douglas White horses recently. Sit wide, no cover, not far away from the pace, super wealthy the other day at uh, Shah Tin, and he kept on uh, boxing on strongly on this occasion. So he got a, a well-deserved win. I'll be keen to see if he can back it up from Class 4 into Class 3. He's had six runs this season and he's only finished further back than fourth in them. So he has been running really well. And one of those was a head bobber with Meridian uh, Genius mm. as well. This is Beauty Spark um, at the trials. He might be one of our pace angles. Yeah, he's likely to go forward. I think uh, Beauty Spark, you can see he did that in this, this trial as well. Um, yeah, it wasn't a bad trial from him, was it, uh, Beauty Spark? He's drawn three, he'll get the £10 off. He's only had the four starts. I haven't put him in, but his best run has been here at Happy Valley. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit concerned with Beauty Spark, uh, Very Rich Man, the, the pace duel that might be inflicted between those two uh, younger jockeys up front, Chan and Mo. 
All right, and uh, Flying Bonus is the uh, the other horse uh, here down on the uh, the inside, also at the trials. This was the, the trial I was alluding to before with the, the speed map. Uh, led the barrier trial, won it easily. Um, you can see him bowling along nicely there. He's had eight starts. His best placing has been for third. That was a few runs ago. He was on the all-weather back uh, towards the end of November. He started here on 72. He's got a mark now of 64. Wide stall. Does make me wonder what they'll try and do with him. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he, obviously, if he gets forward and gets in that speed duel, though, it's not going to be good for him, I don't no. think. All right, Aurora Pegasus to go in again, Paul? Yeah, I've got him to go in again, Aurora Pegasus. I think he can win. Once again, victory, power up and grade, uh, baby and special stars. 2 10 five, one. Look, I think Aurora Pegasus is the, the horse to beat, but uh, going with uh, some value here, blotting paper, horse number three. He's at uh, 24 to 1 at the moment. Um, he's having his third start, blinkers hood go on. Uh, I've got two Aurora Pegasus in, one special stars, and I'll throw in seven flying bonus. But uh, 3 2 1 7, I think two's the horse to beat. Yeah, Royal Pegasus on top for me. I've got blotting paper in, though. Don't think he's um, a complete uh, lost cause there at 25 and 6.4. Right, stats, Paul. Who are we looking at this week? We're going to have a look at Jimmy Ting. We haven't looked at him for a while. His last start place get us here at Happy Valley this season. He's had nine runners, four wins and two-thirds. So uh, they hold their form, these horses. And what a legend. Won his last start. They can go on and win again. So uh, he's the one we're looking at. He's got Baby there in the last as well. All right, there we go. Best bets wise, though, uh, who do you think wins? Well, I'm going to go with early race one focus. I think he can win the first. Blinkers on, Chad Schofield aboard, barrier five. I think this is an easier race than one he won last time, and he won really nicely. Uh, the long shot uh, there is Meridian Talent. Again, he's blinkers on for the first time. Chad Schofield once again. I think Chad will be in for a, uh, a good night. He's uh, I like a few of his runners. Uh, have a look at what he pays in the Jockey Challenge. Uh, that swinger there, or the Quinella Quinella places, one, seven, and eight in race three. I know, going with uh, Joyful Union, race eight, number one, Zach Purton and Sir Bitter Young teaming up with uh, him at an each way uh, price, hopefully. Uh, of the uh, value runners, well, we touched on it before, uh, blotting paper in the last, Chad Schofield, race nine, at number three for Richard Gibson, having his third start. And we'll make the play in the feature race, the January Cup, Southern Legend, Sacred Capital, Dr. Jeff. Yeah, I like um, all of those as well. Best bet for me, Murray's partner's race number five. Only just beaten last time out. Is drawn to get the perfect run in behind the speed. And so if there isn't much, he might well kick on himself. Um, the runner in race number eight, but he's 10 to 1 at the moment. It's not a good price about him. Much bigger than that. He should be an each way shout, though. And in uh, the play, the claim like winning endeavour. And Murray's partner's the QQP. All right, that's it for Happy Valley. Looking forward to January. It'll be a good race, but there's a really good race coming up on the weekend. Again, possible more derby clues. Private Secretary going round again. Yeah, and Tony Picone, I understand, uh, picking up the ride on Private Secretary, uh, Secretary going round uh, on uh, Saturday. So that should be a good race. Some other nice horses going around uh, there. Super Rich, I think, in one of those races as well. So it should be a good day. Yeah, we get the Sunday off, Paul. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's always good to have uh, a Sunday off, isn't it? Nice and relaxing. But look, i uh, really looking to see how good uh, Private Secretary goes. All right, that's the show. Thanks for watching. We hope for full time and the rest of the team. Hopefully we'll see you at Happy Valley on Wednesday night. We will be racing to win.